Okay, we're back with Pokemon Yellow, and I must apologize for not making uh, these uh, things as fast as I'm making the 10 2 LP. But for some reason, I'm, I'm really not into Pokemon Yellow right now. But I'm going to get back into it. Uh, once again, I'm only using Pikachu right now because, you know, using it by itself will overlevel it pretty good. Uh, I picked up a Squirtle not too long ago, but I'm not going to use it. Most of you will uh, normally use um, Squirtle, um, Bulbasaur, and uh, Char Charmander. But I'm not going to do that. I, I already know which Pokemon I'm going to use. So. Uh, you, you saw the Mew down there? Mew's only a uh, ATM slave. I used the, I used the, um, the Mew get, the Mew glitch to uh, catch it. Okay. And those of you who are following me on Facebook, uh, you, you know that I have a cold right now. But I am off today, so I'm not going to let this day go to waste. Because uh, since I am off, I need to get a movie done. But oh well. It's not like I'm going to die or anything like that. Well, I hope not anyway, so okay. Okay, what did I do on the last part? I I fought Surge, uh, didn't I? Yes. Uh, I can't go back on the ship. Uh, I've been told that that, that thing returns uh, later on in the game or something like that. I don't know. Some of you know that I'm making a hack for Super Mario RPG, but I think, I think I'm going to call the quits on that because... Uh, I just don't have that kind of patience. Uh, I mean, it's fun. It's fun doing it, but the thing is, uh, I'm using uh, the laser shell emulator, the, the laser shell program to hack it, and bugs can just happen out of nowhere. I mean, you think you're doing good, that all of a sudden a bug happens and all kind of shit goes wrong. Like I did something in the uh, sucking ship, and uh, suddenly every trampoline in the game just suddenly disappeared, and that's just that's just aggravating. So. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that anymore. I'll probably just just hold off hold off on that for now, until I can figure out how to fix these uh, bugs or stop them happening. Because uh, apparently, uh, when you hack a game, a bug can just come out of nowhere and it change the whole game, really. But oh well. Hopefully, I can make it to the next town in case I get poisoned like that again. And there are trainers everywhere. Magneton, okay, it stands a Magneton. Uh, Magneton's special attack is pretty damn high, so, and that Sonic Boom is gonna be very aggravating if I don't take it out. Mm. There he goes, alright. Level 33 for Pikachu. I told you, there are plenty of trainers in this game, which is why I'm not, I'm not doing the, uh, the random battles. Uh, agility, Pikachu is actually fast enough. Um, Thunder Shock, Quick Attack, I need that. Thunderbolt, Wave. Uh, there aren't too many things that are gonna outrun Pikachu, so I'm not worried about it. The only thing that I probably outrun a Pikachu is a uh, Alakazam, and I have uh, something else to do that. I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be trained anyway, so I'm not, I'm not, I don't have to worry about that. Because the AI Pokemon are not, are not EV trained unless you're doing the Battle Frontier in, in the later games. I can't wait till I get my Lapis, so I won't have to worry about those damn rock types like Geodudes and Honestly when they appear. Uh, there's, there has to be something in that, uh, in that, in that, in that patch of grass right there. There has to be something in here. Of course there is a skate rope. I don't need that. Oh, anything else? I'm pretty sure that there's like hidden items just laying around everywhere, but I, I don't know them, so... If you... Unless it's something really, really, really good, I'm not gonna worry about it, but if you see me miss a red candy or any kind of vitamin, if you see me miss something really, really good, please uh, let me know. Now, these guys here will uh, give you something every time you catch a certain amount of Pokemon. Uh, I'm supposed to, if you caught that Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you a... Item finder. Ah, how I run? I was just talking about item. But I don't need that. I'm not worried about that right now. So if you see me miss something really, really good, just uh, let me know. I'll go back and get it. Okay. Of course, I will occasionally check spots like this. Go back in there. I will occasionally check these things. Well, wait, no, I found a potion. Cool. Okay. I just look in. I found something. And here we have a snow light. So we can't go any further, unfortunately. Damn, Snorlax. So I'm not supposed to be going this way right now. Okay, I guess I'll uh, meet you back in. Ugh, I know I'm supposed to go. What's wrong with me? 
I miss you back in Vanilla Gym. Vanilla City, I mean. Okay, what I have to do now is after I have to go uh, through that um through that digger cave. I, I I keep passing, so yeah. But I guess it's good for me to go down that route so I can gain some experience points anyway and level up Pikachu. So, uh, Diglett is actually not a bad ground type Pokemon because of its uh, speed, and it can, it can learn Earthquake, which is the strongest ground move in the game, of course. So. I think there's a rare encounter of a uh, of a duck trail here, so here. Yeah. The defense and HP are very terrible, of course, so even Pikachu should be able to knock it out with a single quick attack right about now. But that was a critic hit, so uh, the diggers give our speed EVs, of course, so that, that that's good for Pikachu. If I don't knock it out and I get hit by a magnitude, then Pikachu's gonna fail. Uh, why did I do that? Why? And to this very day, it's a mystery to many Pokemon trainers that how can a dig the scratch when they don't have anything to scratch it with. So, so okay. All right, we're out of there. I believe I have to go to a rock totem now. But, uh, damn, I forgot. Uh, did I teach me Flash? No, I didn't. So I gotta go back to my, uh, my boss and get that Flash, but I think, uh, I can get it. Let me see. What do we got here? I know that. You can, you, you can get a Mr. Mind there if you have a good fairy. Okay, let me just, let me just cut this damn bush here. Let me see. It's once again I'm using Mew as a uh, ATM slave only. Okay. Alright, so where are we now? Another one of P -P Professor Oak's uh, assistant dudes. Oh no, I need that. Have I caught these 10 Pokemon? You, I won't look up. Oh man, I have to catch 10 Pokemon to uh, get this ATM. That sucks balls. And that's Flash, so I have to get it. So that's how you get Flash. Okay. Well, I gotta catch 10 Pokemon, so I've only had. Ooh, HP up, nice. I only have seven, so I gotta catch three more Pokemon, unfortunately. Moonstone, very nice. So let's do that. There's gotta be some grass right here somewhere, huh? All right, with that out of the way, let's go uh, get this to uh, HM now. And I went, I went into my uh, my PC box and I took out TM11, which is Bubble Beam, and I taught Mew Bubble Beam just in case I get trapped by another Honest. Because uh, as uh, those of you saw back in my episode, where I was doing the Mew glitch. I was, I had, a, I had a little trouble with a trainer who had an Honest, and all I had was a Pikachu. So this time, in case that happens, I use Mew to bring out the Bubble Beam to dispose of the. Um, of the rock types because uh, that's pretty much the only thing that Pikachu can handle is the uh, rock types and ground types with them annoying uh, immunity to the electric attacks. Okay. All right, now that we have this, uh, let me just go ahead and uh, teach that to Mew right now. Matter of fact, it's a uh, yes. Uh, Mew is mainly a uh, ATM slave, but I I, I, ta I taught him Bug Beam for now until I get uh, Lapis. Then I won't have to worry about that. That's just in case I run to another one of those Honest and Sojia dudes because I'm going to go to the Rock Tunnel now. And there are a lot of trainers down there who use uh, Geodudes and Honest, of course, because they're hikers and stuff. So. Alright, back in Cerulean City, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, get this uh, get this uh, bicycle, if I, if I can remember where to go to get it. Let me see, is this it? Yeah, here we go. You take the, uh, that bike voucher you, you got from the, um, from the Pokemon Club dude. Give it to him, and you get a bicycle as opposed to paying a million Poké Dollars or whatever, however, however much that is. And unfortunately, everything is in the same box, like I said. So since I'm going to be using this a lot, I'm just going to go ahead and put this up top like that. All right. You can't just press one button and get on it. You have to actually go to the main. You have to actually go to the main screen and select it to get on it, which is very annoying. But Nonetheless, it's still worse like it did in the new games. It makes you go a lot faster. This this definitely helps, alright? 
All right, so now we have to go to what? 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 I go? I can't see. Okay. Oh, that's right. Now we gotta go to the rock tunnel now. So I gotta go to the right. This way? No, no. Oh, I gotta go through here. Of course, when you uh, go through doors, you automatically get off your bicycle, so you gotta go back to the menu and get on it again. Very aggravating, but it's okay. So yes, they need to fix a lot of things in the, in the later generations of the Pokemon games, but nonetheless, this was still the best game in its day when it came out, of course. You have Pokemon with you? You're mine. Okay. Ooh, those pills make me a little drowsy here. Let's see what we got here. Oh no, not more grass types! Alright, just uh, two artists and two bell spots there. Nothing, nothing too threatening. Let me just get this. TM30. That's obviously a hiker right there. I'm just gonna skip him for now. I'll deal with him later. Let me see what we got here. It contain teleport. I don't need that crap. I have an Abra, I don't need that. Um, you can learn that of course, so I guess that'd be a good way to get back to the Pokemon Center if you need if you need to do that. But I can't go that way, I gotta go this way. It looks like this train is unskippable unfortunately. It's probably a hiker. Oh I can skip him, cool, I can skip him, okay. Uh why am I going this way? Why? And then you go this way, go down here, go that way. Here we go. And there's no getting around this guy, unfortunately. So, bring it. I'm trying to... What I'm doing is I'm trying to save uh, some of these trainers uh, for my next Pokemon. Because I'm going to get the second member of my team very soon. I don't know if it's going to be this episode or not. Because uh, I, I had to stand by for a while. I don't know exactly how long this move is going to be. Until I do the editing. Mm, can I pee at will? Oh. Man, those pills I took really make, make me kind of sleepy, so. Then in that! Just a uh, pure. Uh, actually, that's a bug in poison type, isn't it? Oh well. Yes, uh, th Thunderbolt can uh, one shot a lot of things with the with the neutral damage, which is why I'm, I'm gonna use my uh, my PP ups on Thunderbolt. This is obviously a hacker. I wonder if I can skip him, and I can. Okay. Uh, did. This is gonna work in the, in the later generations because in, in the later generations the, the, the trainers look in, in the direction that you're going, which is very very annoying when you get close to them. In the later generations, uh, the trainers can hear you when you when you're around them and they're like looking your direction and challenge you and stuff like that. That's just aggravating. All right, now we're gonna go into the rock tunnel. Let me see if I can skip this uh, chick right here and save her for my next uh, member on my team. All right. Because Pikachu's already over level, so I'm going to uh, save these trainers for when I get my, my next member. Flash! Mew is the excellent HM slave for this game. Because you are going to have a water Pokemon on your team, and, and they can let you learn Surf. And Mew can use the other uh, HM. So Mew is like the perfect HM slave for this. If I get a uh, one shot, it, I'll just go ahead and get rid of it so, so Pikachu can learn some experience points. But for guys who are going to have rock types. Like you probably, I'll bring in Mew. Is this a hiker? No, it's a. Oh, it's a Pokemon. Yet. Okay. Cubone, and you got a Cubone. How nice. That thing's too strong for a Mew. That was a critic hit. Oh boy. I forgot to keep on learning some uh, signature ground attacks early on. Let me guess, you got two of these things? Alright. Slowpoke. Well, that's a relief. Okay, so I got out of that mess. Hey! Yes, I'm having a hard time right now using only Pikachu as, as my main Pokemon. So I might be in trouble here in, in this uh, rock cave, which is why I taught you the bubble beam. All right, Zubat, Zubat. Nothing a thunder shot can handle. I 
I believe there's... Ugh, come on, now! And, uh, how did I forget that quick that I just stopped up on repels? So I need to go ahead and use them so I can get out of here. I believe there's a Rock Slide TM, which is the strongest rock attack in the game in this uh, first generation, and the second generation too, and the third generation actually. We, we didn't get uh, Stone Edge until the fourth generation, I believe. It's only 80% accurate, but it's still one hell of a rock attack. Another Pokemaniac, I think. Yep. Slowpoke. Mm, he's the target figure too. Thunder shot should knock it out. This is I'm nine of those higher than you. Oh, I forgot this thing is pretty defensive, isn't it? You failed. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice spins plus Pikachu there. Moving this along. Uh... Oh damn. There's gotta be a, a hidden item over there somewhere, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Let me just get out of here. Looks like I gotta fight this uh this uh last or chick to get by, and I do unfortunately. I don't often come here, but I will fight you. Okay. We have a picnicker. Okay. A female picnicker. And of course, he's bringing out grass type Pokemon. How utterly utterly annoying. Let's see what a Thunderbolt will do. Almost have health, and you miss with stun spoil. That's a relief. All right, sleep powder. Ah, I don't have awakening, do I? No, I do not. How utterly annoying! Oh, I woke up on the first turn. Cool. I lucked out there. Remember that in this uh, first generation, uh, you cannot attack on the same turn that you wake up, which is very, very bad. If the Pokemon is faster than you. So that's another thing that had to be, that really, really needed to be fixed in this uh, first generation. And now you got a bubble sword, how lovely. This uh, bubble sword's uh, defenses are not that good. You love my attack, but, uh. Ah, oh, damn, I didn't get to it. Let's see, I evaded the attack, haha. <laughs> Die! Yes, I'm. I'm really not in the in the commentary mood right now because I told you I, I have a little cold here or something. So, but I am off today, so I'm not gonna let this day go to waste. Since I am off, I skipped that training right there. My pair will off, and I'm gonna put it right back on because I do not want any any random battles here until I get Lapis. Because all these damn Geodudes and Onuses keep coming out of nowhere. I'm trying to skip every train I can and save them for later. So Lapis can level up when I get it. I can skip that train unless it looks up right now. Okay. There's a rock slide around here somewhere, I believe. Unless I'm thinking of another of, of another cave. Just give all these guys. I'll battle them later. I'll battle, I'll battle all these guys off screen. I'm pretty sure there's nothing uh, tough about them once I get like my rock slide and stuff like that. Not rock slide, but my surf attack for Lapis. So Lapis can level up. Skip those bastards. To... Wait a minute, is this where I just came from? Oh great, now I'm lost completely. No, I'm good. Ah. No getting around this guy, unfortunately. You're obviously a hiker or some kind of fighter, dude. You're a hiker. And then you guess you've got Geodudes, right? Of course! Level 21 Geodude. Uh, this is very bad. Very bad. My Mew can't can't take a tackle from, from this guy. This is very bad here. Man, I hate fighting these rock types and these ground types, man. I hate it. I can't stand it in the, in the yellow because uh, it's so annoying. I, I'll eventually kill it with a uh, quick attack, but I'm gonna burn a lot of potions. Here. Actually, I've only got one potion left. I can't bring in Mew because uh, Mew's uh, not gonna take a tackle. It'll, it'll get knocked off from a tackle, and I can hit, hit it with a uh, bow beam. That'll definitely knock it out. Critical hit. That helped. And now you're gonna bring out another G dude. Look at this. Look, look at this, man. This is very, very bad. Your yeah, last Pokemon is going to be a Graveler or Onyx. 
Could have kicked that help. Rock throw. Okay, now he's in rock throw. Now he's trying to end this. He missed again. I'm surprised I haven't used the poster yet. You keep missing. I'm not complaining. But what's going to happen if I uh, run out of quick attacks? I do have it either. Why do you keep missing? I don't care, but well. Die! I did see you miss with 9% actually moves of 5 times in a row. And of course, there's a Graveler. Now, this is very, very bad here, especially if this thing has a ground attack. I'm in some serious trouble now. I'm just have to keep quick attacking this thing to death until I eventually knock it out. Oh my god, you son of a. Oh, I survived it! Okay. I'm not complaining. I survived it. I survived it. Man, that was that was a right, man. What that would knock me out. Good thing I used that potion when I did. Okay, I don't want to fight any more of those. Give me a say by game, so I know where I need to put Mew up front. Because even at level eight, Mew might take a attack or two and knock it out with a uh, bubble Bay. Ah, damn! I say right on time. This is a uh, Pokemon Maniac, isn't it? Yeah, P -P it's Pokemon. You probably got like a water type or something. Yeah, Slowpoke, okay. No problem here. Pikachu can help this. Damn, Gravely uses Scepter Struck. On a Pikachu, of all things. Alright. You got third one, right? Okay. Nothing there but three slow pokes, nothing Thunder Shot can handle, let me save the game. And continue. And yes, uh this is where I'm supposed to be going now. I mean that girl right there. You can avoid all this if you go all the way if you go all the way to the end, you don't have to fight these uh, chicks here. I told you the Pikachu's over level, so I'm saving these uh trainers for um I'm saving the trainers in here for Lapis. I'll come back here later on off screen, probably. To uh, level up Lapras when I get it, and then I'll level up my other Pokemon in another spot. Actually, I'm gonna do that in a certain And it looks like there's no getting around this uh, female trainer, so let's just go ahead and take care of her, shall we? But you've got grass Pokemon, don't you? Or a cafe or something like that. You've got three Pokemon and Meowth! Okay. Neutral damage from a Thunderbolt should get rid of you. And it did. Next! And of course, you bring out the grass Pokemon now. Quick attack, and you're gonna hit me with some kind of stats effect, probably. Ooh, nice hit. Sleep powder. You miss! Quick attack. Dang! Okay, I looked out there. Pity nothing that Thunder Shot can't handle. Alright. Easy battle there, only because he missed with the sleep powder. Level 36 for Pikachu, so with, with Pikachu, the only thing you really have to worry about looks like is those um those rock types and the ground types. That's the only thing you really need to worry about here when you use Pikachu. Because there are a lot of Geodudes in this game. Uh, as I said, there's a rock, there's a rock slide TM right here somewhere if I remember correctly. I think it's up there, but I'll come back and get it later because uh, I'm not going to use a ride on right now or something. Let's get out of here. Alright, we are out. That's a train, I believe. There's gotta be something hidden here. Max either. Very, very nice. I'll say that for when I need you to spare my Thunderbolt. Repair wall, but I don't think I need it at this point. And, uh. Can I get around this train without fighting him? No, I cannot. Damn. Hi, kid. You wanna see my Pokemon? No, I do not. I wanna go to Lavender Town so I can get on with this episode. Pokemaniac. You've got two Pokemon and one's at Oh no, not again! Ground type. Damn it. This thing has some pretty powerful moves like Bone Rush and Bone Club. Bone Club! That's gonna hurt. Not really. 
I forgot this thing isn't very strong unless it's wearing a uh, thick club. Which is not gonna get until the second generation, fortunately. Ouch, that hurts, man. Damn. I hate ground types in this in this uh, in this uh, yellow version. Because you start out with Pikachu. I like seeing that slowpoke. Okay. Got out of that mess. Damn, Cubone. And we finally made it to Lavender Town. Wow, I thought I'd never make it here. Okay. Okay, what's going to happen now is uh, I can I can go in I can go I can go in there. If you do that, you'll fight Gary shortly after. You can't fight the ghosts in there yet until you get a certain item that that identifies them. So, uh, what I want to do now is I really 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 want to get the second member of my of my team. Actually, I'm gonna get two Pokemon out here in uh, Selenon City. Let me go ahead and uh, get them now. Let me skip all these trainers. This peaks over. The I can't skip you. And going this way makes me fight her. She's got grass types, right? Cute and fluffy. You probably got like a cafe or a jiggy puff or something like that. Last was the fight. Two Pokemon. Of course, you got a cafe and a jiggy puff. Nothing uh, Thunderbolt can handle. I think. Cause this thing is kind of bulky. Oh, you're out of here. Oh, good again. That's why. Okay. Two cafe. Excuse me. Uh, what? Okay, you took it with maybe two hit points left. Okay, there we go. That was just a big taunt. All right, <coughs> stop! Don't be so mean. All right, moving on. Uh, we can catch Pokemon in there, like a uh, Abra, I think. But that's okay. I think this is a ah oh, damn. I think this is another spot where you can do the uh, the Mew glitch, but I'm not gonna worry about. It. I already got one. One's enough. Let's just get on with the episode. Another last. You've got five Pokemon. Don't tell me you got five Pidgeys. Let me just go ahead and edit this out. Five weak Pokemon that can all be one shot it with a Thunderbolt. As I was saying, I think you can also do that uh, that Mew glitch here. But I'm not going to worry about it. Let me just uh, get out of here for now. I'm on God Day. Oh, the road's closed. Oh, screw you. We ought to go this way instead, I believe. Uh, I'm just avoiding these guys because uh, Pikachu's over level. I want, I want to save these guys for another Pokemon. We ought to go down here, which will take us this way. Ah, screw this. Thank you. I forgot about that bicycle. Anyway, uh... The town in the middle is um, Saffron City, of course, so we can't go there yet. That's the biggest city in the game. Now we are in... Yes, the music. We are in Celadon City, alright. I love this place. Go to the game coin. I'm just going to simply buy some coins here. And uh, unfortunately, uh, they got rid of this in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And hard gold and soul silver, you you simply can't just uh can't just buy coins. You don't have a I gotta get a coin case. I hate that. I have to go get a coin case. That sucks. Why do I need a coin case? Why? I just put them in my pocket. Uh, somebody around here will uh, give you one of the coin cases or something like that. I blew it. I was like, no, I should catch my coin. Uh, somebody around here will say, I don't need this anymore. You can have it. And they'll give you a coin case or something like that. Let me just keep running around till I find it. Mm. Yeah, here we go. 
Yeah, this guy. Okay, good. I found that quick. All right. He's uh giving up the games. So he's gonna give his coin case. All right, let's try this again. As I was saying, uh, they got rid of rid of this little easy method in Heart Gold and Soul Silver because a lot of people don't even bother playing these games. They just simply uh take their coins and turn them into game coins. But they they want you to play these games for some odd reason. So in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you you simply can't just buy these uh coins. You have to actually win them. You have to win them in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Which is very aggravating. It looks like we can only buy these by the 50. They aren't gonna let you buy buy them uh, by the hundreds of thousands. Well, you, have, you have to buy them by 50 apiece. I guess I keep doing this until I get 1,000 coins. Which is gonna take forever, unfortunately. But I can assure you that this is definitely worth it to me. Unfortunately, I need more coins to uh, get the Pokemon that I want to get. So let me just uh, get another Pokemon now that I will indeed be adding to my team. Go down here. Take through here. Y'all know this by now, of course. You go through here. This Pokemon is a free Eevee. And let me just save my game before getting it. Uh, I don't think it really matters in this uh, first generation. I still haven't decided what to evolve it into. We got a Eevee. You wanna nickname it? Uh, no, that's okay. You get a free Eevee. All right. And there you go. There's Eevee. Pretty strong one. Uh, I haven't decided what. I haven't not, not decided to evolve what to evolve it to. It's not gonna be a Flareon, of course. It might be a Jolteon in case Pikachu isn't isn't getting the job done. Um. Vapora is good, but I have a Lapis for that. Yeah, Lapis has a uh, Ice Beam that learns naturally. I don't have to worry teaching to it, so. Okay, there's a TM right there. I didn't know that. Uh, what TM is this? We have a TM Counter. Oh, not bad. I don't need that, but not bad. Now, one of the things I like about this uh, second, gener this uh, first generation, is because uh, you can simply buy your uh, elemental stones. I remember that much. Uh, is this the guy? Yeah, see that? Fire stone, thunder stone, and war stone. You can simply just buy these here. You don't have to like, you know, do all kind of, do all kind of crazy stuff to get it. You just simply come here. And buy as many as you want. So that's one of the things that I, I like about this uh this uh this uh, first generation. Because in hard going so silver and, and actually in the other generation you you gotta do like all kind of crazy stuff to get one of the elemental stones in most cases and it's just very annoying. But in the first generation all you gotta do is just buy it. Yes, as I was saying, uh, unfortunately, most people don't have the time and patience to sit here and play these uh, stupid little games to get the coins needed to, to win these prizes. Most people just just come here and just simply buy their coins. It's very expensive. It's, it's, it's a thousand coins for 50, for five, for 50 coins, and it's 10,000 coins for like, what, 500 coins or uh, something like that in the other generations. And that's why they got rid of that in Heart Goes So Silver because they want you to play their games, unfortunately. Alright, so I have a thousand coins. So, yes, I gave all my money to them just so I could get 1,000 coins, and it's worth it to me, and you're about to see why. For those of you who watch my Soul Silver LP, you will indeed understand. This is the only way to get this Pokemon in the yellow version. You need 1,000 coins to buy a Vulpix. Ask God a Vulpix. As I said, for those who watch my Soul Civil Let's Play, you you clearly understand why I did that, and you already know the name of this Pokemon, right? I should have to tell you. The name of this Pokemon is Lacoco. She's back. Lacoco has returned. And uh. 
I'm gonna wait till it learns a uh, flamethrower before I evolve to a nine tails. Uh, when it learns flamethrower, I go ahead and evolve to nine tails. Okay, it starts at level 18. Not bad. Okay, so Pikachu, you take a break. I'm gonna let uh, I'm gonna let Lococo do uh do some stuff now. Okay. Uh, I guess what I do now is I battle it off screen so I can level up to learn Slay Thor and stuff like that. Then I probably vault to Nine Tails, and then we'll take on the Southern City Gym Leader. Okay, we'll see you guys later. We're gonna end this thing right here. Take it easy.